Hey guys, this is Older Inscape guys, and today I'm just going to be showing you how to do the quest Dragon Slayer. Uh, to do Dragon Slayer, you're going to need to have d have 33 quest points and be able to kill a level 90 green dragon. The items which you're going to need to complete the quest are 90 steel nail nails, which you can get from the um, Varric uh, sawmill guy, 3 planks, which you can also get from the a hammer, 2k GP, or 12k GP if you don't have 30 free magic to uh, tele, tele grab an unfired ball, a lobster pot, silk, one silk sorry, a wizard's mind bomb, some food, some weapons, some armor, a magic or range attack method, you can use either one, I use magic, and one law and one rune if you are going to be using teleblock. Alright, so what you want to do first is head to the Champions Guild and talk to the Guildmaster. Ask him all the options, basically. And I know that, just talk to him. And then head to Ozziark at Edgeville. And once at Edgeville, you want to talk to Ozziark and ask him about how to wear the rune plate. And he'll say that you need to kill the dragon Elvarg if you're to become worthy. Um, you now want to go back to the Champions Guild and ask Ozzy Ark all the options. I mean, not, sorry, you want to talk, ask Guildmaster all the options and until he gives you the key. And you also want to ask him, like, where to get a ship and, like, where all the different parts of the map are. This may take a while. And for some reason, some guy. I know a veteran life who helped me during this quest. Thought I was like from England or something, like not from Australia. I just thought that was funny. But anyway, once you've exhausted all the options, what you want to do is. Oh, yeah, you also want to ask him how to get Cran Crandall. And also how to get a ship, basically. And then he'll ask you. No, so once you've. Oh my god, I've talked to him for a long time. I think I, I think I talked to him. I think I already asked him all these questions, but I'm crazy. Okay, so what you want to head now is to White Wolf Mountain, which is at um, near Falador, near the Black Knights, and you just want to talk to the Oracle, and she'll give you some cryptic poem kind of message about how to get the next piece. So once you've done talking to her, you want to go to the Dwarf Mines and just head head. All right. And you just want to use the key on the door, the hammer on the door, the plank on the door, and then the, the free wi wizard mind bomb, lobster pot, and an unfinished cooking, unfired cooking bowl, sorry. And you just want to open the chest and then search it. And yeah, open the chest and search it, and you'll get one piece of the map. Uh, once you've exited here, you would just want to go and talk, go to Meldrum's Maids, and you just want to kill the big zombie rats until you get a red key. For some reason, I have not edited this out, so I'll do that right now. Wait, no, I have. So, you, once you get the red keys, you want to go to the n most northwest door, open it, and go up the ladder. You should see some ghosts. You just want to kill them until you get the key, basically. Then, once you do have a key, you want to go to the eastern wall and go through the middle, middle door. Then, you want to climb up the ladder, and you'll get skeletons. Make sure to kill the skeleton with the circle buckler until you get a key. Then, you just want to go through the door on the right, as you can see. Run, 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 and down the ladder. And then you want to go down the ladder again. And you want to go down the ladder again. <laughs> and you just want to kill a zombie now, basically. Uh, I think the zombie drops a blue key, which will allow you to open the blue door, of course. And then you want to just kill Meldrum. He's quite easy, doesn't really hit you f at all. And you just want to pick up the purple key, I believe he gives. So I mean magenta, sorry, and go for the door, then you wanna kill the demon. This guy doesn't take too hot take too long, but you need to have some food obviously. He hits a bit actually, you can probably pray you can probably pray against melee against him or something. You probably be able to kill him with trout, depending on what level you are. Or like even sardines, I probably could kill him without no food. But he'll drop a green key and you, then you just wanna open the door, open the chest, and then search it. And you'll have the second piece of the map. You now want to head up the ladder, out the door, and you just want to head back to the Oracle, talk to her again, and ask her about the island Cranador, and yeah, she'll say some bullshit. Then you want to head to the Falador, 
um, jail with some gum cast and kill worm brain. Then tele telegrab the map. If you don't have if you don't telegrab, you can pay 10k to instead. You want to put all the map pieces together. Then you want to head to Duke uh, Lumbridge. I mean Duke Horatio in Lumbridge, which is on the second floor, and he'll give you a anti-fire dragon shield. I already had one, so so I was a bit confused there. Um, now you don't want to go to back to the Champions Guild and ask him about how to get the find the right ship, basically. Um, you now want to exit out, and you just want to go to Port Sarum and talk to Clarence and ask him if you can buy a ship. He is on the most eastern dock. And thank you to um, Crusader Jin here for helping me as well. I just want to go down and you want to patch up the hole in there because and, and then you want to use yeah right there climb back up the ladder and just get off the ship now you want to head back to Ned and Port and Drano sorry and ask him if you can captain your ship he'll say YOLO basically <laughs> and yeah he'll basically say YOLO and say he'll do it even though it's your ship's a piece of shit um you then want to go back to ship with all your food all your armor all your weapons because you're going to kill the big dragoon now yep yep see it takes you to dragoon and basically Here's a cutscene, I'm gonna spoil it. The kid dies, he gets seven fired by a dragoon. Then you just wanna go up here. The same way I did. Maybe not like just stuff up the start. <laughs> and you just wanna go down the dun into the dungeon, which will be here, I believe. Yep. <coughs> and then you'll get a cutscene, you'll see a dragon, but you just need to head uh, south past these zombies and hop over the little wall. And kill this dragon. He doesn't hit very hard, you can probably use um, anti-fire pots here if you really want, and you could, you could pray magic. Um, once you kill the dragon... Um, I'd just like to thank everyone who was on stream watching me do this live, as well as Crusader Jin and Veteran Life for helping me out during it just by like taxing me around and like telling me where to go when I kind of forgot and remember to like, comment and subscribe if you guys want to see some more content and then you want to head back to Aussie Ark, I'm sorry and he'll give you the quest uh, thanks, bye